Mina, Ohio Gazimus, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, back with the message that should have come out yesterday, and by yesterday I actually mean Thursday, because this is early Saturday morning, and for me this is not the end of my Friday yet, and I didn't put out a vi uh, I put out the video game video Thursday, I didn't put out one, I didn't put out, I didn't put out, I'm putting out the video game video for Friday, actually that's already out. But now I'm putting out the video, the Bible video, for Thursday, as well as Friday. And this is the one that should have gone out Thursday. So, now that that's out of the way, let's get on to that Bible topic. And actually, what I want to talk about, I'm not going to quote a direct passage from the Scripture for this one. I'm actually going to go back to a message that I made just a few days ago. Can we claim a tenth of God's, or I'm sorry, of Job's goodness? Can we claim a tenth of Job's goodness? And... Dude, man, commented on my video. Um, the handle is Sly and Shifty, and I really, really liked what he said. It made me think about something. I've been talking about this whole time how Job has pretty much suffered more than any human being. And I mean more than any human being. Certainly much more than well over 99% of the people who live in the United States and other first world countries who have all of the amenities that we have. Even most people, in my opinion, that uh, suffer from th horrible things like you know, uh, cancer and just other life-threatening conditions, other very painful conditions, I still say Job su um, suffered more than them. Sly and Shifty made me think of a different point, however. I'm going to quote this thing that he said. And again, all this comment can be found under the Can We Claim a Tenth of Job's Goodness message. I'll try to remember to leave a link to that video in the description down below. So this is what Sly and Shifty said. Again, no editing yet, so I'm just going to read the comment. You can, of course, go to the video and read it yourself if you wish. Now, you could argue here a little bit that Job at least got to experience the happiness of love and marriage and having a family. I can't claim that I have suffered as much as Job, but I can't claim that I have had the same happiness that Job must have had either. I imagine experiencing a full life and losing everything is very hard. But imagine being born as a child, being tied up and raped, and being basically tortured every day of your existence until you die. It's truly fucked up, but unfortunately there are sick parts of the world where this happens. Maybe it's better to have at least been able to experience some of the better things of life and lose them later than to never have had any happiness to begin with, but that's just my opinion. Now the reason I used the... Um, the F word, so to speak, is because when I'm quoting someone, I'm not going to quote half of what they said or part of what they said. I'm going to quote the entire thing. So this will go up as a complete Bible message, and the the curse word, the profanity that was used, was not mine, but was his. And if you guys have watched any of my video game videos, you know I personally, not only do I not take offense to profanity, I really don't care. I use a, an ample portion of it myself. But the message... That I was saying, I don't, he wasn't trying to make a Bible message or anything. I don't know what religion he is or not. But the message that he said was really, really good. You know, it's, it's debatable. Has Job suffered more than anyone in the world? Like a child being tied up and raped for their entire life until they die, or someone who was born with some incredibly painful condition, they live with it without recovery. It's my opinion that Job has suffered more than pretty much any other human being in the world other than Jesus Christ. Opinions could differ. And I honestly didn't really take that into account. I was like, I was, I was really focused on the fact that a lot of Christians in particular in churches just complain and moan and groan about their problems. Some of them are legitimate problems, but they make them out to be way bigger than they are and way worse than they actually are. And sometimes they take those their horrible life circumstances and then they become bitter and full of hatred and other negative things inside. And so I was trying to use Job's story to say, hey, suck it up, get over it. Your life's not as bad as you thought it was. Well, that is ultimately my opinion. Some people will not agree that Job had it the worst other than Jesus who bore the weight of the sins of the world. Some people will say, I can think of some scenarios where where they probably suffered more than Job, and I didn't take that into account. My thought was, most people in America, the country where I live, and in first world countries in general, haven't suffered as much as Job. 
but it is possible, it is possible that some have. And I want to acknowledge that. I want to say, you know what? Let me open up my mind. Let me take in a different opinion. Let me acknowledge, you know what? I was overlooking something over here. Um, I wasn't thinking I wasn't thinking this subject through as thoroughly as I should have. I did my best to. I was trying to take everything into account, but there was something I missed. So thank you, Sly and Shifty. I left a comment under his comment saying, hey, you made me think of something I didn't think of before. You made me realize that what I said was my opinion, not objective truth. Thank you very much for that. It made me think of something new. So yeah, there we go. Um, now I will acknowledge that Job's suffering more than anyone else, my opinion. Could be wrong there. What is objectively absolutely true in this is that if you are suffering something horrible, now let's say it is worse than Job's. Let's say I am wrong in that, and it is actually worse than Job's. Job still shows us the proper way to get through horrible, horrible times in life, and that's to maintain our integrity and maintain our trust in God. That part of the message was straight from the Bible, and that part of the message is still true. But my opinion has shifted a bit. Now I will, now I will accept the fact that some people will say people or some people will say that other people, maybe even themselves, their suffering does equal or is greater than Job's. I think we could all agree that that, that is a vast minority considering all the things that Job suffered. So thank you, Sly and Shifty, for, what, for the comment. Thank you for giving me the time of day and for watching my messages. And thank you, everyone, for watching this message. I love you and God bless.